Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mel's Quirky Corner YouTube edition. This is actually a very fun one because we are actually live on TikTok right now and we're going to be doing this tutorial. So this is going to be a moon phase. Um, we are going to do rainbow in the actual phases and then the background is going to be black. Um, and then we'll do the demolding once it's cured, so probably 24 hours. So um, let's get to it. Okay, so I have these beautiful opal flakes. These are from itsprettypersonal.com. I will tag them as well. So I'm just going to take a couple of these. It does not take much. Look how gorgeous. And just lightly put it into one of the phases that I want. And I'm using tweezers. You can use your fingers, really whatever. This is going, this is actually the first time I'm using these. So I'm super, super excited to see how they look. switch colors here and we're just going to keep continuing to do the same thing I'm not putting too many flakes just a couple just to kind of give it a little bit more dimension my puppy is chewing on my chair also if you do not follow me on TikTok you should we do live videos quite often um, where we make things together and I work on tumblers and we just sit and chat. Look how pretty those are. Heck yes, I think that would be so gorgeous. And especially, I, I believe that these are going to pick up the color very, very well because they're almost like an iridescent, I mean they're opal, um, but they have a very iridescent color to them, so I think they would pick up almost any color. That's what we're going to try. We're going to do a rainbow one. So this will be done in two separate phases. The first one is going to be doing the rainbow on the actual moon phase. And then the next one, um, we'll let it dry a little bit. And then we will go in with the black behind it. And we do that so that the colors don't mix together. Um, that way the resin has a time to cure and they don't mix together. And if you're interested in that, it's pretty personal. Um, I'm using all of the different styles. So there's six styles. Um, and then here's this one. And my wonderful puppy keeps Hello friend, what are we doing here? He's laying on his back with his arms up like this. <sighs> Chewing on the chair. Ooh, this is a very pretty purple. I don't want to spill it. It's so pretty. Yeah, he is def definitely teething. I posted a video the other day of his little teethers. Okay, so now we have our opal flake in there. And what we're going to do next is I'm going to go around the outside of it with a chrome chameleon. This one is from chimp it's called Thanos Thanos it's a gorgeous kind of purple bluish color look at that I love the chameleon part and again this is from glitter chimp I will have them in the description as well it's gonna take this on a paintbrush be sure to kind of tap off your excess um, so that it doesn't go everywhere. And then just go into the rim of this. This will just give the moon phase a very polished look. And we will also do that. Um, I normally don't outline all of the lines on here, but because we're doing a tutorial, we will. It just takes a long time because you want 
I'm kind of a perfectionist and I get real annoyed if there's anything that goes somewhere it's not supposed to be. But I also want to keep everything a full tutorial. You have a great nap, Jay. I will probably still be here when you get, when you wake up, but I hope that you sleep very well. Then you're going to go on the outside of the rim as well, so just kind of make sure that everything is nice and covered in that chameleon. You're welcome. Take a nap for me. Then we're going to get... smaller the brush the better and I also find the angle brushes work really well um, so these are the brushes we're going to use I just got this from a pack um, from Walmart it was like nine dollars for all of them and then this guy is gonna be the one that helps you to clean it it stinks that I can't have music on because YouTube like violations but so we're gonna just take this and it's okay if it gets a little messy. Again, we're going to clean it up. Obviously, you want it to not be messy, but it is what it is. And for those on YouTube, we are not, I'm not doing a speed. Um, I'm going to do this in real time so that you can see how long it takes. That way you can kind of judge when you do this project how long it's going to take you. Aw, thanks, Jenny. You're so sweet. So how's everyone's day going over here on Tiki Talk? I actually had a special request to do a moon phase so that they could see um, like the entire process of it. So it was kind of cool. So I don't get a lot of interaction on my YouTube channel. So this is kind of, it's neat that I got some interaction, you know? <laughs> Tea really does. I love it. And it's like, I have an addiction to her goodies too, so it works out for both of us. <laughs> I almost made a horrible mistake and was going to try to blow some of this out of one of the moons. And had I done that, that flake would have gone everywhere. So I'm going to be very interested to see how this turns out with some of this mica get, getting into this phase. So we'll see. This may be very beautiful. This may be one of those that goes in the mishaps, but... <laughs> And then after we do our resin work, or this, like the resin pieces, then we will go into making the tumblers. And I apologize for the noises. That is my puppy who is apparently not impressed with me currently. He's very sassy for like how young he is. He is sassy McSassington. He got upset with Hubs the other day because um, apparently Nori wanted to be brushed and Hubs did not realize that we have like a morning routine where I brush his hair um, because like when I get ready, like he wants to get ready too. So I brush his hair, I brush Oakley's hair, like it's this huge thing, whatever. Anyways, Hubs did, had no idea that that was a thing. So Hubs is like getting ready and Nori's just like barking at him. And he's like, what in the world is this problem? I was like, you need to brush his hair. He's like, are you kidding me? Like, no, you, like, literally, he's going to be mad if you don't brush his hair. And sure enough, after he brushed his hair, guess who was, do not do that, please. Um, he was happy. 
He's like, so our, our puppy has to get his hair brushed before he'll go about his day. I was like, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. It's going to storm. I wish it would storm here. We need, we need rain bad. It is bad here. It is scary bad. Okay, so now that we have all of this etched out, we are going to go and clean it up. And I'm just, just going to take this brush. Oh, okay, that's apparently not going to work today. So, whenever that doesn't work, just spray some alcohol in it on it. There we go. The alcohol will help. I'm just going to go and clean this up. Is it storming like raining or what kind of storm? I apparently just broke my brush. Some of these brushes work really well and then others break really easily like you just saw that. So this is going to be fun to continue to do this with a broken brush. So that is okay. Improvise. Adapt, overcome, and improvise. Rain, lightning, thunder. You stay safe. We had tornadoes the other day. Colorado doesn't really know what it's doing when it comes to weather. Yeah, it was a huge tornado too, and nobody really cared. Like, everyone was still driving, um, walking their dogs and stuff, and there's like this... Uh, uh, healing, do you know what size that was? It was probably like an F4. Like, it was pretty gnarly. But. It goes from snowing to tornadoes. And we also go from snowing to wildland fires, and there's really no in between. I feel like there were some houses that were damaged. Um, I don't think that anyone was injured, thankfully, because there was no warning for it. It just randomly hit. Um, the sirens were actually going off after it touched down. It's crazy. Also, if you find that this brush was um, too big, you can also use a cotton swab, which is what we're going to do. Yeah, snow and fire. No in between. Are you working today? Q-tips also work very well. Actually, this is working way better than that other brush did. Why didn't we start with this? And when you um, etch this as well, this helps you to know how much to price it at because your time is valuable as well. So don't be, don't be selling yourself short. Oh, nice. Oh, no. I think some of the people that didn't like react to it were just like, you know, I'm so done with all of this that if this is how I go out, it, it's what it is what it is. So you can see that we're going to clean all of this up because you want it to just be on the lines. And 
I am using 91% isopropyl alcohol. I have it in a little spray bottle that I am reusing. What I also like about the Q-tips is that you can kind of make it the size that you want it to be. So that on these little pieces, you can really get in there and get the stuff off. I think this is the first live I've done with a tutorial. I've done my makeup videos, but I think this is the first resin tutorial where I've been live on the tickies as well. Um, I am thankful that we live in Colorado so that our dogs get the good good. Um, so whenever there's like storms or stuff, they, they get their good good and they don't really care. They're like, mom, where's the snacks though? And it's good for Daisy too. It really helps her, um, because she's older. There's a dispensary in town that actually um, carries a lot of my products. And so sometimes if I, um, whatever I make, sometimes I'll just get, um, they actually have dog stuff, like dog products there. So I'll just use whatever I make to get her some of her medicine. Also, whoever thought of that to get, like, to make dog good good is brilliant. It always breaks my heart when they're, like, because I sometimes forget that other states don't have it. And I'm like, it helps so much, though. Like, why won't these people, like, legislators, what are you doing? It helps people. It helps animals. It helps everybody. It helps the economy. If you look up how much Colorado makes off of that stuff, it's ridiculous. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying it's like they make the, they make a lot of money off of it. And for those of you on the YouTube side, you can see that this is an area that I have been working on for quite a while to clean it. And then after we're done with this part, um, we're going to go back in and do the leftovers, um, leftover mica that's not supposed to be there again. This is my pattern for, uh, I'm sorry, a chameleon uh, mica that I got from Glitter Chimp. I don't know if I have the patience of a saint, like it does take, it takes a while and I'm a perfectionist. So like if I see that there's, um, spots that still have it, like I, uh, I have to like go in and like really clean it. <laughs> Nori. I love, so I have a love hate relationship with micas because you can make such beautiful things with mica powder. Um, but right now I'm in this, like, I really love alcohol inks, um, but micas are beautiful and they always have like a pearl to them, which is gorgeous because it gives such a different dimension of color. And there's like chameleon flakes. There's so many different types of micas. Also T, if you need any micas, let me know. Cause I have about 19 billion. Nori has the hiccups now, and he's upset that he has the hiccups. And the other thing for the YouTube side is as you're working with the alcohol inks, you want to really make sure before you put the resin down that that alcohol is completely dry or 
and or wiped off um, because it can interact with how the resin cures. Yeah, he's going crazy over here. Weirdo. And I think after we do this um, for my Tiki Talkers, I think after uh, we do the resin on this, I'm going to take a little break and then I'll be live again later tonight. Um, I'm just going to get myself some lunch and stuff, but we're going to pour the resin first and then we'll do the um, tumblers a little bit later tonight. Because your girl needs some food. There's this one piece that is like, you know what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to get clean. Thank you, though. Thanks for asking. Okay, we're getting closer, everybody. Hi, Becca. How are you? I hope. T, did you see that? Um, I hope that it's, I think it's going to be pretty, especially like with the rainbow colors. I think it's going to be gorgeous. I hope. Oh, thank you. It'll, it'll, everything's actually looking up now. Um, I was able to find out that the doctor actually, um, build me incorrectly. And so my Botox is not $6,000, it's 150. So, but because I just got my first COVID vaccine, um, I need to wait. <laughs> okay. Um, I need to wait until my second vaccine to get the Botox. So it'll probably be like September, um, August, September. <laughs> Hey, let's settle down. Nori. <coughs> settle. Apologies about the dog. Um, they like to oh. cause hate and discontent. I didn't know that Border Collies, like, um, talked so much. I, I didn't know that they were that boisterous. But in case you're wondering, Border Collies are a lot like Huskies. Yes, I hope it starts working too, and if it does not, then we're going to um, speak with a neurosurgeon about the DBS surgery, which is the deep brain stimulator, um, which would, I mean, it's scary, but at the same time, I would much rather just get, have a one and done type thing, you know? Um, so we'll just, we're just going to kind of play it by ear and see what happens. Like, he just always is talking nonsense, you know? Like, 
right now he's laying on his back just making those noises so sorry for the people on youtube um if i knew how to edit out sounds i would definitely do that however i'm not that smart Hubs is home. Hubs can help, you know, contain him, but Hubs is working, so. Okay, we are almost done. We are almost ready to start mixing the resin. And while we mix the resin, that'll be a great time for the alcohol to finish drying so that we can make some frame mix. What he wants is he wants Oakley to play with him, and Oakley wants to take a nap, and so now he's upset about that. Yes, I hope so too. I think, I just keep telling myself, like, it'll all be okay, and I know that, hi, how are you? I know that I'm helping others, and so that helps me to keep my mind straight, I guess, um, is that I'm able to help people, but, um, okay, love you, I'll talk to you later. Um, so I think that's what's helping me. And for those of you on YouTube, um, we are going to start mixing the resin, so we have completely cleaned all of this off, so let's go ahead and start with the resin. And for those of you on TikTok just joining, we are also making a YouTube tutor tutorial. Um, so if you hear me talking, that's what it is. Okay, so I always use silicone mixing cups. You can use whatever you want. This is just my personal preference. I always go to four ounces on part A, four ounces on part B. And I use Art and Glow resin. And I do have an affiliate code. If you need that, it will be in the comments. And you want to make sure that you have equal parts of part A and part B, otherwise it will not cure correctly. And I always pour, um, some people will also weigh it, and that's just a personal preference. Um, and I always pour part A and part B separate so that I make sure I have the correct amount. And this is just a wooden popsicle stick, like a craft stick that you get. I'm pretty sure I got these on Amazon. I can put that link in the comments as well. And we're going to start stirring. And if you want a very clear resin, um, you can also put part A and part B in some warm water um, in the actual jugs and let them sit for about 10 to 15 minutes before you're going to be doing the work. Um, stirring slowly will also help, and then having a heat gun and 91% isopropyl alcohol also helps to get the bubbles out. And you want to make sure as you're stirring that you're getting the sides and the bottom so that you have all of the parts incorporated correctly. That sounds good for lunch, guys. And you also want to stir your resin for about between three to five minutes. You can tell right now it's pretty murky. Um, and you'll know that your resin is completely mixed correctly when it is very clear and isn't very, it's not as sharp. Ooh, how's the sun? And we're scraping the sides, bringing the stick and the resin together. I need to get some sun on my face and my legs. Like, my back is toasty still, but everything else is still pretty, pretty pale. 
And again, for those of you um, just joining on TikTok, so we're going to do this moon phase and then um, I am going to take a quick break. I think I'm actually going to have enough resin though to do um, a couple of the cups right now. And then we might just add the first layers or whatever. Um, and then we'll do the designing of the tumblers later today or tonight. Also, if you haven't already, um, definitely check out my Instagram um, and the post that I made on TikTok about the Paradise Delivered. Um, I have giveaways going on both of those. Um, but I have a post on Instagram as well. And the reason I switched this into a different cup is I want to make sure that I have the, um, both parts incorporated as best as I can to make sure that the resin cures correctly. Also, depending on your resin, um, make sure that you're wearing the proper PPE. For my resin, um, it does not have an odor, so I do not need to have a respirator on, but I do use nitrile gloves. I just like how they feel better um, and they protect my hands better. Some people will need respirators. Um, make sure that you're in a well-ventilated area. This is just my personal preference. Nora just stole a popsicle stick and he took off running. And I found that he is entirely too fast for me to chase after him. You can see that we're still a little murky here. I've got two more minutes. And again, what we're going to do is we are just going to do the moons. Um, and then we will come back a little bit later once the moons have cured to do the black um, background. What's everyone doing? I think we're going to make this one into a clock as well. Okay, you can see how much clearer it is. And it's a lot thinner. So what I usually do is I'll stir for about another minute. Um, and then I will let it sit for a minute or two. Spray it with some alcohol to make sure all those bubbles are out before we pour it. Because we want these to be as clear as possible. We are going to get this all ready and then we are going to get our colors ready. So I'm going to be doing a rainbow. So we're going to do some red, some orange. We're going to try and find all the colors. We've got purple, blue, green. Oh, I'm 
I hate mosquitoes so much. Um, so we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink. Okay. I always get uh, multiple shades of the same color too, just to kind of give it a little bit more dimension. And I'm going to pour just a little bit into this cup, and then that's what I will spray with the alcohol. So I have my heat gun. I have a disaster, but that's okay. So we're going to start with the largest moon. Um, no, we're actually going to start with the smallest moon and go all the way. Which way would be... If it was noon, would that be the biggest moon or the smallest moon? It would be the smallest one because then you're going, right? Yes, that's what we're doing. So, we're going to spray this with a little bit of alcohol. Pop those bubbles out. And then on these smaller pieces, because this is so tiny, we are going to move you closer first off. So we're just going to take a little bit of this onto this. This just makes it easier to clean up so that you don't have a disaster on your hands. I'm doing this first little layer before we do any alcohol. Pinks. So I'm going to start with this cherry red. Um, this is a Pixis alcohol. Just do a little drop right there. Little drop right there. And we're going to take this and get that right off of there. This is not going to work. Okay. Also, it's okay if there's, if it's a little messy. It's handmade. And just fill this all the way up. Also, you can add more of whatever color if you want. So I'm going to go into an orange. So exact same thing, just a little bit of resin here. And you want to make sure, especially with these littler pieces, that you make ensure that the resin gets all the way into there, into these little little spots. So just take whatever stick you have or whatever. We are also doing a um, YouTube uh, tutorial. So that's why I'm talking about this as well. So if you're a little confused, if you're just joining us over here on the Tiki Talks. So same thing, add some more resin. Uh, 
the reason you want to make sure these are very full is when we hit it with the um, black over top of it, you want to make sure that these are as full as they can be so that that black doesn't get in there. And you can spray with a little bit of alcohol to get it out of these bubbles. And I'll be back. How's everyone on the Tiki Talks doing? Q-tips can be your best friend when it comes to cleaning things. Okay, now we go to green. I am so done with the mosquitoes outside. Like, I go outside just to change the water and I get completely eaten. But then Hubs doesn't get any. And I'm like, what is that? <laughs> like, how is that a thing? How have you been, Mimi? Know when they're supposed to spray here i know that i'm highly allergic to the spray though we found that out the hard way like our windows were open and i like had a horrible reaction i was like oh that's cool why not right so with these larger pieces this is why i have multiple colors of the same shade or multiple shades of the same color is because it has a little bit more room so we're going to add a little bit more color to that to give it more dimension. I just realized that I need more colors because <laughs> Ooh, moths. I'm not a fan of moths. Moths freak me out for some reason because like they're kind of like a butterfly, but they're fluffy. Like, they're not, I don't know how to explain it. They just freak me out. Actually, I know what we're going to do. That's not a fun time at all. Can someone tell me for the um, all-inclusive flag, does it go brown, then black, or black, then brown?
I think it's brown and black. We are going to do Okay, let's do... We're just winging it right now. That's the one thing I love about art is that you can make it your own. That all came out quick. now that we have all of these in here we are going to let this sit for a bit um, between two and four hours and just kind of give it some time to we're going to give it time to cure that's what I was looking for um, but in the meantime I have some cups to do so YouTube um, I will be back here in a little bit to finish this and TikTok you're coming with me Okay, everybody, welcome back. Mel's Quirky Corner YouTube Edition. This is all probably going to be in one video, so I'm not sure why I keep doing that, but that's beside the point. So, um, when we left off, we were letting this sit, and this is our moon phase that we are doing in rainbow. And the more I thought about this, I was going to have the background in black. However, because the colors are a little dark, I want to do it in a um, white. So, we are going to use some... Um, Unicon Art crushed, crushed Crystal along with some white um, alcohol ink and we're just going to see what happens. So these are our silicone cups. Look how easy that was to clean everything out. So we're going to go ahead and mix our resin up. I'm going to move you guys over here. Hopefully I, you guys don't fall. And we are going to do 4.5 ounces of part A, 4.5 ounces of part B. Um, I know roughly how much this is going to take, so that's why we're doing that much. I'm so sorry about the uh, notifications going crazy here. And we have let these moons sit for about three and a half to four hours, so I'm going to hope that they are set well enough um, so that when we pour this that it does not ruin it um, but we are willing to whatever happens happens we can fix it so and like always make sure
your part A into your part B. I hope that everyone has had a magnificent day. And let's get to mixing. Again, um, so we want to mix slowly so that we can reduce the bubbles. We want to make sure that those sides, so this is how it looks when it's first getting mixed. And you can see that it is just thick and gloopy. Um, and so that's how you can kind of tell that it's A, not ready. Um, and then see if I can move you to where you can see it. Um, but you can see that it's pretty murky. So we'll just go ahead and mix this up here. And you can see that this made a little bit of a mess where those micas were, um, but that is okay. We're doing this for a teaching purpose. Um, if this was for a customer, I would definitely clean that up a little bit more. Um, but we are doing this for our tutorial and then it will probably just go on my website at a discounted rate. And I enjoy doing these tutorials um, because that helps me to keep my skills new and fresh. Um, and then I get to learn new things as well. So I am totally okay with that and I may even give it away. Who knows? We'll just kind of see what happens with it. I really hope that this tutorial has been helpful for some people. Um, if you have any questions, concerns, critiques, anything like that, I have a pretty thick skin, so I'd love to hear what everyone has to say. I think what we're actually going to do is do kind of a black and white because the mica powder that I etched this in needs to have a black base to be able to really be seen. So we are going to do a little bit of a black and a little bit of white um, just to kind of or we might just do black with some clear. I don't know yet. <laughs> I kind of just start it, start and then see what what my heart tells me to do and go from there. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. You know, it's okay though. Also, um, if you're watching this, how long have you been doing resin? Is there anything, any videos that you would like to see me do or any questions that you have that I might be able to help with? Um, <clears throat> was this video helpful to you? Also, I will be putting the demolding with this same video. Um, so I'm trying to learn how to YouTube better. Um, I deeply apologize. I'm still, I'm still learning all of these things, um, but I want to figure out how to, and I'll probably be able to do it once I start editing this one, but figure out how to do the time thing so you know like you can skip ahead or whatever. Um, I am not doing a time lapse in this because I want it to be helpful for you to see how much time it takes um, so that when you go to price it you know about how much resin it takes. Um, and so the moons took about an ounce so far and then and that is an ounce total so about 0.5 and 0.5 of part a and part b and then we are we just mixed up 4.5 of part a and 4.5 ounces of part b so we shall see how much of this we need but again i do have tumblers that are turning currently so it is okay if i have extra because i can always use it on the tumblers that are currently curing We stir and we stir and we stir some more. That should be a song. Someone needs to make a stirring the resin song. Sometimes I don't know what to do while I'm stirring, but I'm still recording all the while. Also, I don't really know what to do. <laughs> Um, we are also going to be adding some glow powder into this because I feel that everything is better when it glows. Um, I am all about color changing things, so I like glow in the dark, I like UV color changing, I like heat and cool color changing, like those are my, my jams, so...
Actually, the more that I think about this, because we have those opal flakes in here, we are just going to actually do all black. I know I keep going back and forth, but I think that with the opal flake being in front and then the alcohol ink being on top of that, I feel that it will still show through. I'm gonna mix this over in this cup one more time just to make sure that we have it completely good and mixed. And again, we are mixing anywhere between three and five minutes, but um, that depends on your type of epoxy and resin. Um, also be sure that you are following the protocols for your safety. So any PPE, which is personal protection equipment that you may need, if you need to be in a ventilated area, have um, eye goggles, respirator, etc., on. The reason that I do not wear those is because the resin that I use does not have an odor and it has been, um, it is FDA compliant for food grade resin and I have not had a reaction and so that is why I do it that way but I feel that it is only correct um, if I am teaching about resin that I talk about the risks that there are as well. Resin, um, especially certain types, can be extremely toxic and people have gone to the hospital with severe allergic reactions before where they stop breathing, they have their eyes swell shut, um, things to that nature. So please, please make sure that you are paying attention to any of the, um, to all of the hazards and um, things that are on the bottles of your resin. So this is just about done. So you can see that it's clear and it is very liquidy, so that's what we want. So, um, let's go and get into it. Let me go grab the heat gun, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to use my plastic cup again. And the glitters that we are going to be using are um, the Glitter Chimp Raven and Baby Got Black by it's pretty personal and then marabou alcohol inks and some glow in the dark glow blue by backfist customs so let's just get into it i also have some other glitter alcohol inks that we're going to be using um these are also from marabou I love the baby got black because it's like holographic and it's so pretty. So what I have in here again is the um, Raven baby got black and the Backfist Customs glow in the dark and it's going to glow blue. And then I have my black alcohol ink. And this is what we're cup ready to. So well, I'm going to start by going on this outside here and try not to make a mess, but that's probably not going to happen. I want it to very softly go into the moons. I've got something Again, go back in with your colors. The nice thing is that because we left 
it out for um, to cure for a few hours. Um, as it is going on to the moons, it is not disturbing the colors that's on the moons, and that's exactly what we wanted. Now I'm going to go into the middle. And as soon as I said that, it's going to disrupt the colors. That is okay. We can, we can fix it once uh, we demold it. If this was for a customer um, and they wanted it to have the different colors um, like that, I would suggest waiting for at least 12 hours before pouring your second color on it. Um, because this is for a tutorial, that is why I rushed it a little bit, but that's okay because, again, this is for a tutorial. It's not going to a customer unless it goes for, like, a discount or something, but it also may be really pretty. We'll just kind of have to see what happens when we demold it tomorrow. You want to make sure that you have it, um, make sure that everything is covered. You can see our bubbles coming up. Because I know this mold very well, um, I know that I can use heat on it to pop the bubbles and it's okay. So we're just going to heat this a little bit. like 10 to 15 minutes and then if I see more bubbles then I'll hit it with the alcohol again but this is ready to sit overnight so that it can fully cure so tomorrow we will be back um, with the demolding and then if you saw my other video reference the not safe for work um, plaque we're gonna go ahead and do that next so thank you guys so much for um, and it'll be in another video but thank you for hanging out with me and I will see you tomorrow Hello and welcome back to the Mel's Quirky Corner YouTube edition. Today we are going to be demolding our moon phase. Um, so let's just go and get into it. So for reference, this has been sitting for about 20 hours now. Um, and I apologize about how dirty my workstation is, but we have been busy. So how I'm going to do it is just start by Peeling all of this, I find that if I have this semi peeled off, that it's a lot easier to demold the entire thing. And once we have all of that, this might still need a little bit of time to cure, um, but we want to get this out of the mold. So we're going to go ahead and just slowly, because you don't want to rip your mold, we're going to slowly just turn. And I always hold my hand close to wherever I'm pulling from. So um, right here, I have my finger towards that moon. And that just helps so that you do not break your mold. Some of these will come out a lot easier. I find that the smaller moons have a little bit harder of a time. So you can see that this still needs to cure a little bit longer. But here is our finished piece. I will take it outside so we can do an outside look. And here it is outside. Look at all of those, that glitter and that shine. So I am going to let this sit in a flat cubby. Um, we're gonna let it finish its curing process and then we will get it all cleaned up and it'll go out to a customer. I want to thank you all for watching this video series and if you like what you saw please be sure to subscribe um, leave a comment if you have any questions thank you